Hi everyone, it's Emily and I first wanted to start off saying thank you for the very positive response on my last video where I talk about different switch variations and reprints. And one of the topics that came up in that video was how to identify revised switch cards. So after doing a little bit more digging, I wanted to make a follow up video um, explaining a little bit more about the switch cart revisions and talk about what type of games tend to get revised game cards and also just touch upon a resource I found that really helps aid you in knowing what the most up-to-date game cards are for each game. So before we get into some of the more details that I uncovered, I first just wanted to address the importance of game cart revisions, since I didn't really talk about this too much on my last video. So in my opinion, the revised cards are one of the reasons why collecting for the Nintendo Switch is so valuable as a modern console collector. And that's just mostly because of how developers have been releasing games and then later addressing whatever bugs or issues a game might have with patches later on. One of the major worries for a lot of collectors who like to collect for physical preservation purposes is that uh, what happens to our physical Physical game library once all of the digital eShops uh, for certain consoles close. So we've been seeing this more recently with the Wii U and the 3DS and while Nintendo still allows people to download whatever they purchase from these eShops, there's going to be some point in time where they're just going to close it down entirely. So the question is what's going to happen to the Nintendo Switch? So with the current sort of gaming environment where games launch with issues and are patched later on, it was a pleasant surprise seeing that a lot of Nintendo games um, on the Nintendo Switch have been patched over onto brand new issued game cards uh, for older releases. Unfortunately, this doesn't happen for all games and we're really only seeing this for the Nintendo IPs and a few other select publishers. So in my last video, I shared uh, the method to identify if your game cart is revised or not. And so this is just by checking the serial number on the back. Unfortunately, you can't always tell what revised game cart you have um, according to what's on the case. So if we take, for example, this copy of Breath of the Wild, look at the back cover here, you'll notice that the code just above this barcode ends with a 1 and the code above that ends with a B and so that's how you identify this as being a second revision or second press game. And similarly, if we were to flip the game cart to the back side, we'll notice that the bottom code there ends with a three. That signals that this is the third revision of this game cart. So that way, when you insert this game cart into your Nintendo Switch, um, you won't be prompted to download additional patches uh, to run your game. So when you have a Nintendo published game, like in the case of Breath of the Wild here, whenever you have a revised cover, that that means you're likely to also have a revised game cart inside. However, this is not always a one-to-one -one sort of thing in that um, if we take, for example, my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 game here, the back of the cover actually shows that this is not a revised cover. It's still the original first press edition. But on the back of the game cart, it has a six at the end, meaning it's the six revised game cart. So I wanted to point this out because there is a somewhat independent relationship going on between the game cart revisions and the case revision. Sometimes they are related, like in the case of Breath of the Wild here, but sometimes they're not, like with my copy of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So the next question is, what games actually have these game cart revisions? So I was doing some deep searches online to see if someone has uh, come across this already or maybe you've made a compiled list and I actually found something on the Nintendo Switch subreddit. So someone posted here that they started compiling a list of various Switch cartridges, what GNOME revisions are on them. So this is a great resource and they have been updating this list since the end of October, um, which is I think a good sign. And there are a few different caveats when looking at this list. Not every Switch game is going to be on here, like for example all the limited run prints and things like that, but just scrolling through this list you'll notice that it's mostly the Nintendo published games that have revised game cards. Though so there are quite a few other non-Nintendo published games that have had revisions, which is interesting and definitely helpful for those who are looking uh, for collecting with game preservation in mind. Another important thing to note is I believe most of this list is for ESRB copies of the game, so I'm not totally sure how this works across different regions. I imagine if, for example, Nintendo were to revise 
the North American game carts with patches. They'll do the same for the PAL and the different regions. And I'm sure there's plenty of things missing on this list just because of how difficult it is to compile this sort of information. But I think the efforts of this person and whoever else has contributed to this have really just made a very great resource uh, for collectors and um, hopefully it will continue to grow throughout the years. And then one last thing I wanna to touch upon um, before ending this video is incorporating DLC to the cart. We saw with Fire Emblem Fates on the 3DS how really shot up after the eShop closure because it contained the DLC on the game cart itself. So I think this just signals that in the future with the Nintendo Switch, whenever a game comes out with DLC on the cart, that's probably gonna be a very valuable physical game, both from a game preservation perspective as well as a value standpoint. And so far we haven't seen too many games on the Switch come out with the base game and the DLC on the same cart. So in my game collection, I do have Pokemon Sword with the expansion pass. So from my understanding, this should still contain all the patches as well as the DLC onto uh, the cart here. So I think that's partly why we've been seeing uh, this edition of the game really shoot up in price recently because um, it's currently out of print and um, there's no really indication whether or not Nintendo plans to reprint this or not. On the indie game scene, there are some limited print companies that have started putting DLC on the cart. One example of this is Cult of the Lamb. The DLC on the cart is exclusive to the Special Reserve version versus if you were to buy the retail version, it wouldn't include the DLC on the cart. Instead, just be a download code only. Japan has also been seeing some revisions that have not come out to the West. For example, there is a edition of Zelda Breath of the Wild that was released exclusively to Japan that also included the expansion pass DLC. And it's since been out of print, out of stock everywhere. So I imagine that's gonna be very hard to get a hold of. And what's also been nice about the Nintendo releases recently is that on the Japanese games, they also have other language options available on the cart, um, like for example, English. So I hope you guys found all of this new information interesting as well as helpful for your game collections. I think these small details about game cart revisions is really important, especially for physical game preservation moving forward. And I know a lot of people collect for that purpose in mind. So for myself personally, I'm still a little on the fence whether or not I wanna seek out some of these revised game carts and whether or not I'll just be happy with uh, the versions I currently own. But for games that I don't currently own, for example, with the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I'm kind of glad that I decided to wait to buy the game. And I'm hoping that Game Freak actually patches uh, the game up so it performs a little bit better um, and then buy uh, one of the revised carts down the line. So that way I'm not gonna be too worried about what happens in the future when the Swish eShop uh, dissolves completely. And if I wanted to replay my Switch games when I'm older. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys are collecting for uh, physical preservation purposes and whether or not the information about game cart revisions changes your strategy for collecting or not. I'll be very curious to hear that down in the comment section below. Uh, but that's everything and until my next video, bye guys.